The Sam Backman fraud trial continued on October 6, day 4, with FTX co-founder and SBF's associate, Gary Wang, taking the stand once more in continuation of the proceedings from the previous day. Wang was more specific in his testimony this time, as the prosecution provided more damning evidence against the defendant. According to a thread on the ex-formerly Twitter platform by Intercity Press, which was present at the trial, Wang confirmed that Alameda Research enjoyed special privileges from FTX. The prosecution had already laid out a premise of a code attached to the FTX wallet page that kept track of the values in a user's wallet. Uh, there was an allow negative command in this code. Uh, if checked, such a user could go above their balance, which was how uh, Alameda could trade more than what it had in its account. The trading firm allegedly uh, had a large line of credit and could trade faster than others. Wong noted that this was kept secret and never disclosed, contrary to what SBF had said about the loans to Alameda being permitted. Wang stated that Alameda used this special privilege to withdraw nearly $8 billion in fiat and crypto. This money allegedly belongs to FTX's customers. With the Alameda code in place, there was no limit on the amount Alameda could withdraw. This went on since July 2019 when FTX's director of engineering, Nishad Sang, added the code. Interestingly, as no one else besides Alameda enjoyed this privilege. And Lang also confirmed that the trading firm had a negative balance in 2019. And even then, Sam Bankman Freed authorized that Alameda could withdraw up to a hundred million dollars. Now Alameda's negative balance was so huge that it was more than FTX's revenue at some point. The firm had a negative balance of 200 million or more compared to FTX's revenue, which was around 150 million dollars. Uh, following the prosecution's question regarding the size of the line of credit to Alameda, which Sam Bankman Freed authorized Wang stated that the defendant approved $65 billion for Alameda. No word that is that no other customer received up to a billion dollar in loans, and only a dozen customers received up to a million. Uh, it's worth mentioning that SBF had always painted Alameda Research as a liquidity provider uh, for FTX. Uh, however, Wang's testimony shows that it was the other way around as the trading firm kept withdrawing funds from FTX, including part of the $65 billion line of credit that SBF authorized to the company. And the prosecution questioned Wong as to if SBF made public statements about how Alameda Research was treated, of which Wong confirmed that SBF always asserted the trading firm was treated like other customers and didn't use FTX funds. Uh, and then if you never wanted to be on here, uh, that's what, in replies, more code of what we have concern about the conflict of interest existing between FTX and Alameda. Sam Bankman Freed explicitly stated, Alameda is a liquidity provider on FTX and many else's. No. The trial is set to continue next week on October 10th, with the prosecution expected to call more witnesses